Hello, colleagues and friends. I am Dr. Arturo Zarzar at Camarlengo Institute here in Florida. And today I have the privilege and pleasure to interview Dr. Edward Lin. He is a Yale trained board certified anesthesiologist, inventor and founder of Hilo Medical here in Sarasota. Dr. Lin was formerly the Henry Woodburn Fellow of Roswell Park Cancer Institute, the highest award of the Graduate School of Biomed Sciences at the SUNY at Buffalo School of Medicine. He holds multiple U.S. and international patents on advanced wound care and respiratory care. Dr. Lin, welcome to Camarlengo Institute. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Dr. Zaza. Dr. Lin, uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, this, this unique oxygen mask device that uh, it seems you've recently received uh, clearance uh, from FDA. Uh, it seems to be an enhanced uh, game changer oxygen device. And why don't you kind of show it to me and, and enlighten me what it does, why is it so different? Of course, uh, back in March of 2020, when uh, the pandemic uh, became uh, very serious, I recognize uh, as an anesthesiologist that ventilators are a very complicated device. And frankly, uh, most physicians, except for anesthesiologists, intensivists, and pulmonologists, are skilled at using this device, which provides forced ventilation and can affect uh, venous return, affect cardiac output, and, and, and generally uh, is very difficult to use on very sick patients. And what's unique about COVID-19 is that there's a long latent period when the patient clinically appears okay, but beneath it, they have very severe low oxygen, what we medically call hypoxia. And the hypoxia is of such a severe degree that we've never seen it before at a level with oxygen saturation low in the 70s and 80s, which we previously thought is not compatible with life. Uh, in the hospitals, when the patient's oxygen saturation dropped to 85%, we start to pull out the crash cost to uh, prepare to do resuscitation, and yet we see patients walking around with oxygen saturation in the 70s. And this is uh, the, this situation, during a two-week period, the, the extreme hypoxia results in multi-organ damage to the heart, lung, liver, kidney, and brain. And this is why we uh, read and hear about patients who appear okay in the morning and they're, they're dead several hours later. And the, the uh, central oxy oxygenation system that we have invented is very unique in that it has proprietary uh, set of valves inside this manifold that selectively and preferentially deliver any oxygen first into deep into the lungs where the oxygenation takes place. And because it conserves oxygen use, it enables relatively low flow to deliver ultra high oxygenation. And so the patient can be very effectively treated either at the hospital, nursing home, or even at home. So upon diagnosis of uh, a, a lower than normal degree of uh, oxygen saturation, the patient can be treated on this early and prevent all kinds of serious complications done to their health. Why is this Centrio oxygen mask better than any other? Uh, the Centrio Oxy is better than any mass available in that, number one, it provides the highest oxygenation uh, percentage by far, and the patient is breathing spontaneously while wearing this device. And so there's no forced ventilation, it's comfortable, they can put it on, take it off whenever they want. If they want to eat, take a shower, they can do that. And it enables the treatment to begin very early on a limited supply of oxygen, prevent complications and damage to the organ, and allow them to recover much faster. 
So clarify this to me. Other masks have what type of oxygen concentration available to the patient, and this one is how much more? Okay, so uh, almost all the oxygen source is 100% or close to 100% if it comes from an oxygen concentrate. However, just because you deliver 100% oxygen to the point of intake doesn't mean that 100% go to the lung. Correct. Because of entrainment, uh, because of uh, the, the, the need to uh, deliver very high flow, because during when we breathe in at the peak of inspiration, for, a fraction, for, for one second, the, the flow is 60 liters a minute, which, is, which, which cannot be met readily by most other systems. So our system is specifically designed to absolutely maximize whatever oxygen supply you have and preferentially deliver initially into the lungs so that uh, all of it is used for oxygenation. And if the flow that is supplied were not adequate because you know oxygen is in limited supply and expensive, the ambient air, some of it is used to fill the anatomical dead space where no oxygen exchange takes place. Amazing. Dr. Lin, how does this uh, central oxygen mask uh, contribute to uh, best oxygen therapy uh, patient outcome? Uh, there, there are several factors. Number one is that we can begin treatment very early on when the patient is relatively asymptomatic but through pulse oximetry and other tests we document they are already having low oxygen in their blood. The thing about ventilators, everybody think about ventilators as life-saving, and certainly traditionally they are. But for COVID patients, ventilators are really the, uh, the, 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 the treatment of last resort because they are harsh, they provide forced ventilation, and the patient has to be uh, chemically placed in a coma, paralyzed with muscle relaxant, so they don't fight the ventilators. And on top of that, the lungs are already severely damaged, such that they couldn't oxygenate properly. That's why they need a ventilator, right? And yet the ventilator through false ventilation further damages already highly inflamed lungs. This is why most patients on ventilators die. It, it, it is really not the right tool for this severely inflammatory uh, infectious disease with a long silent period leading up to the patient turning sour. Dr. Lin, uh, uh, please be kind to kind of show me and everybody enjoying this video uh, what exactly comes in the box and, and how uh, we should manage to apply it to a patient. Okay, uh, the box comes with a user's manual which illustrates step by step how to use this device. There are uh, diagrams inside that explain the step by step. But it's quite easy to use. Uh, you simply <clears throat> attach the mask uh, to the manifold, and you will find that there's a well, there's an inflation valve to reinflate the cushion if it were underinflated. But you will put this right over your face. It comes with a head strap mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. attached to this. I, I won't put it on now, yeah. but you basically put the strap on and you, you wear it over your head and there's an oxygen tubing. You connect the two ends, one end, and it's all explained in the uh, user's manual. Mm -hmm. You connect one end to the oxygen source and the other end uh, to the oxygen inlet. And, and, this, and this can go directly to the hospital wall. Correct, or, or, to, or, or, to, or to a tank of oxygen or to an oxygen concentrator. And, right. and we have uh, sourced medical grade, very reliable, uh, 10 liter continuous flow, heavy duty oxygen concentrator. The oxygen yes, concentrator for, for the public is an oxygen generator, right? A Correct. Portable device that yes. generates. It has uh, a uh, zeolite molecular sieve that separates the oxygen in the air from the nitrogen, so it supplies an unlimited quantity of 94% oxygen that the patient can use at home. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. You're welcome.
Dr. Lin, let, let, let me let me get this straight. So are, are you are you telling me, are you hinting that this Centrio oxygen mask system that you've invented is way better than a ventilator? Yes. Uh, absolutely it is because the ventilator comes to the rescue of the patient when it is almost too late. So if you think about having a fire brigade that you can call upon only when your house is almost burned down, that's not a very good system. What you want is the fire brigade to come or maybe you take care of yourself when you just have a small kitchen fire. So what the Centrio Oxy does is it enables you to begin treatment very early on as a protective way of treatment rather than a salvage treatment. When ventilator is a salvage form of treatment when the lungs already have advanced damage, you have low chance, low meaning less than 50% chance of being successfully saved and then you still have long-term severe damage, multi-organ damage. When you treat with the centrio early on, you your health is preserved, you have far greater chance of recovery, and you can even do that at home. Dr. Lin, so clarify something for me. Uh, what is the clinical outcome advantage of this central oxygen mask versus a ventilator? Well, the patient on the ventilator, first of all, is going to be initially comatose because they are drug-induced to be comatose, so they don't fight the ventilator. They are on paralytics to paralyze the breathing muscles. And uh, they also suffered what we call barrel trauma, the, the, the physical trauma from forced ventilation from the ventilator. And of course that can only be given in a ICU setting. That means you're talking about cost of uh, $13,000 a day and, and using a very expensive piece of equipment. With our device, the patient is breathing comfortably the, the device can be supplied by a low flow oxygen source and they can uh, continue to converse with their family, watch TV and do pretty much whatever they want to do uh, while uh, resting in bed most of the time. I mean, they could be sitting in a chair. So th there's, there's no comparison really between the two uh, in terms of cost, the uh, damage to organs and uh, the clinical outcome. The key thing here is that this, you can begin the treatment way early. By the time you need a ventilator, you, you are really in yeah, very dire situation. It's right. too late. So literally, a patient would not need a ventilator if we preventively use this type of oxygen at the right time. Exactly. I, uh, while, while we cannot say with absolute certainty that a particular patient with severe underlying problem won't ever end up needing right. a ventilator, but the vast majority of patients should be able to avert having to go to the hospital even with a device like this. Or, or, or if their first encounter in the hospital is with this device, then they would be, have a much better chance of being discharged early. And with, you can use it both at home, yeah. uh, nursing home, hospital, hospital. Yes, exactly. Or, or multiple settings. Doc, uh, besides uh, applying and using this oxygen mask in the hospital setting and people at home, where else can we apply this? Well, there are many situations where uh, an adequate level of oxygenation is critical either to save life or for performance. So um, other applications that come readily to to mind would include EMT, ambulance services, where you have a patient with underlying cardiopulmonary uh, conditions, whether they, they just had a stroke or had a heart attack, and oxygen supply is critical. We want to provide that wider margin of safety. So those patients would absolutely benefit from this. And um, you can think about um, military applications where uh, a service member may have a mission critical role and they have, to, uh, as long as they're asymptomatic, they need to continue to work at the station, manning the station. They can wear this device. We have uh, very high level viral filters that can be attached that will prevent them from 
transmitting the virus to their fellow service members. Fellow service members can also wear this uh, with viral filters that will prevent them from catching the uh, COVID or other infectious disease from their uh, colleagues. And so uh, that's, 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 an, that's another area. And also in uh, uh, same day surgical centers, dental op uh, operatories, uh, this is a device that can help uh, ensure a, a much higher level of safety during recovery. Uh, the American Society of Anesthesiologists have uh, published uh, papers documenting that hyperoxygenating the patient for four hours in the post-surgical period greatly cuts down on surgical site infections. Uh, and then uh, in, 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 in the hospice setting, uh, many patients in the final uh, weeks or months of their life, they have pleural effusion, they have uh, difficulty with their cardiopulmonary function because they've been weakened by the uh, chemotherapeutic agents. We can improve the quality of their life by enabling them to be, at least be able to breathe with ease instead of being short of breath uh, every moment of the day. It, it's, a, it's a tremendous discomfort that uh, most people cannot readily appreciate. And lastly, uh, in sports settings, uh, when we are competing very hard, we build up a oxygen debt, we have lactic acidosis, and when the player is having a break, they can hyperoxygenate themselves and give them a, a, a uh, edge in their next burst of com uh, competition. So, so this, this beautiful, smartly engineered oxygen mask will do three things. Improves oxygenation, maximizes patient clinical outcome, and it is a low cost, readily available oxygen mask for everybody. Uh, to my dear uh, viewers, friends, and colleagues uh, here in the U.S. and abroad, uh, Dr. Lin, I really have to thank you for visiting us uh, today. Uh, I personally, with your permission and blessing, what I want to do is to introduce your Centrio oxygen mask to our oral surgery department here at Camarlengo Institute, uh, both in our California venue, in our Mexico venue, and soon enough to come our Florida venue um, to have uh, it inserted as uh, best practices, the standardized protocol uh, on every single recuperation room for our patients after a surgery to undergo um, oxygen therapy um, as a preventive measure, uh, specifically using your, your, your new invention. Uh, would, would you endorse, would you support my 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 idea my intention i think it holds a lot of merit and anything that we can do to improve patient safety uh is a is a good thing amazing amazing to everybody uh you know listening to us and and enjoying uh, this conversation as much as i am what is your word of comfort your, your recommendation your, your your word of love to all those uh neighboring countries like india you know, our, our South American countries where I come from, in Africa and so many other places in the world that are really undergoing such a, such a humane burden. Um, how can we help them? What, what can we do? Well, it is very sad to see the untold suffering going on uh, in our neighboring countries where oxygen supply is very limited. And it is heartbreaking to see families and organizations toil day after day to renew their oxygen supply through oxygen cylinders. That is such a laborious and costly uh, endeavor. It's like trying to transport oxygen using bucket with big holes uh, in the, at, the, at the bottom. And so there's a lot of oxygen wasted using ventilation masks that uh, entrain air 
and end up delivering a much lower oxygen into the lungs than is supplied. And the central oxy can enable them to really achieve the necessary clinical efficacy to save these patients. And it doesn't do much good to work hard to deliver, as an analogy, cancer drug at half the dose or quarter of the dose because in the end, the patient is not likely to have the needed outcome. And by being able to save these patients' health, they are able to remain productive citizens of society. They can help to preserve the fabric, uh, the, the uh, economic uh, resources of a nation to rebuild it after the COVID pandemic, instead of becoming a burden to nations that are already devastated economically by COVID, and then having to divert resources to keep these crippled, I mean, physiologically crippled uh, patients uh, to, and, and many of them will be uh, unfortunately condemned to a much lower state of health. So it is lose-lose the other way. Every dollar that we can spend on central oxy today is guaranteed to result in thousands of dollars of savings <coughs> down the road. Uh, I am reminded of a, a JAMA publication by uh, doctors David Cutler and Larry Summers, Harvard University's economic faculty, and they published a paper last uh, October in JAMA, Journal of American Medical Association, which put the national cost of COVID upon the U.S. at 16 trillion, and the cost for rehabilitation from loss of health, chronic uh, diseases as a result of, I should say chronic diseases, chronic loss of health as a result of COVID at 8.5 trillion. That's a cost even the United States can't afford to have, let alone developing nations. So we all know prevention is far better than cure, and this is a perfect instance how using the <coughs> central, you can prevent the devastation to health and really save lives. We'll continue to pray that uh, our endeavors and, and, and our highest efforts with our sponsors, our partnering companies, uh, Hilo Company and Camerlengo Dental Institute and Camerlengo Foundation, uh, hopefully we'll be together empowered to support um, not only our people here at home, but abroad. Um, before we sign off, I understand that Camerlengo Institute will not be the first uh, U.S. Uh, institution that, that will benefit from being able to apply your oxygen uh, mask uh, to our daily uh, daily services to the community indeed what what other what other uh, hospitals or institutes you you already have this uh, uh, in use indeed we are uh, in the in the US this device is being used in uh, uh, hospitals in uh, Puerto Rico uh, in Florida and in the uh, Washington uh, DC area a, a, as soon as we can get uh, supplies to them. Right now, our highest priority is getting this product, as, as many as we can, to uh, India. And we have been working uh, almost around the clock the last few weeks, trying to increase our capacity to supply the needs. Amazing, Doc. Again, I can only thank you uh, for coming and visiting us today, and I welcome you to come back and to lead us with uh, lectures and courses and leading our students and our faculty, uh, not only to benefit from this uh, amazing option of life, uh, but to also to continue our path in continuing education and, and together supporting our community and our patients and our families. So thank everybody, thank you everybody. And it's my pleasure to work time. with you. Thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you, sir, my blessings, thank you.